Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 40 of MC Eternal, where I'm rapidly learning how expensive overall this modular power suit upgrades is. The people who commented 20 episodes ago saying I should do modular power suits instead of dark armor definitely did not look into the costs of modular power suits. Um, so like, let me let me put it in perspective here, right? If we wanted to, uh, and, and we're gonna have to hold off on some of these upgrades because there is just no way I can afford this yet. If we wanted to get a jetpack that requires four ion thrusters, sounds cool. Four ion thrusters, I am short, uh, you know, about a thousand redstone, need about another hundred diamonds, need 318 more emeralds, need a little bit more endstone, need some more lapis, need a lot more platinum. A little bit more iridium smidge, some more tungsten, some more rubies. We only need about 30,000 more tiny dry rubber, so we should be pretty close to having that made. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bit rough. Little bit rough. So a couple things I'm looking at today, and that's just for the ion thrusters to get flight. Like, that's it. <laughs> um, you know, if we wanted uh, some energy shields, right? Energy shields would need two each of force field emitters. So we need a total of eight force field emitters. Um, that, that sounds cool. Let's see what we got going on there. Ah, oh, we're just missing emeralds. Uh, and about, we're missing 4,000 tiny dry rubber. That one doesn't look too bad. The flight one might be rough, but that one doesn't look too bad uh, for energy shields. We're a little bit rough. We need more emeralds for sure. Ultimate battery. So if I wanted like the best battery, right, we would need some EV capacitors times four. Oof, that's a lot of things that we're missing. All the resources. So we're definitely shy on things. The one thing I'm noticing though is tiny dry rubber. We need a stupid amount of that. Either my calculations are off on how to make that stuff. Wow, we need 2,880 insulated copper. That is a lot of insulated copper. That is a lot of insulated copper. Wow. I mean, we do, in fairness, need a lot of the tiny dry rubber. So what I was thinking is, like, clearly in the dry rubber approach to making cables is not going to work. So let's try to automate the rubber trees we have outside. And to do that, I'm going to use a farming station from Ender.io. Uh, now, this thing can do all kinds of stuff. But it can also use tree taps. And I noticed that there's a dark tree tap from Ender.io. Cool. Uh, that you can also, like, upgrade to be empowered so that it uses RF to charge. And the, and the recipe includes the Tech Reborn tree tap. Does that mean it can extract rubber from Tech Reborn trees? One would only hope. So that's what we're going to try today. We're going to see if that works. So we're going to science this up, right? Um, so what we want is a soul machine chassis, right? Uh, and we're also going to want a Z-Logic controller. So we have some Solitune die. We don't have any of the chassis programmed, so I feel like now's a good time to get those added. Um, industrial machine chassis and soul machine chassis. And you guys can all chill in the alloy smeltery. Uh, of which we made an extra one, remember, last episode? But not you, because you're just a regular old crafting recipe. Yes, that seems fine. So that's cool. That's 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 step one. Uh, step two, we want to probably also know how to make uh, Z-Logic controllers. So that would be you guys, uh, which we will need a, a, a slice and slice for. I think we made one of those already. Did we make a slice and slice? Uh, vibrant crystals, pulsating crystals, energized bimetal gears, all that stuff I'm not going to worry too much about. Now, did I get a slice and splice? Did I get a slice and splice? We do have a slice and splice. Yay. Yay. So that means Z-Logic controller is go. And soul machine chassis is go. Iron alloy ingots. Rip. I forgot that was a thing that we need to watch out for. Bring that out of there. Put you in here. Stop being a thing, iron alloy ingots. Nobody wants you. Nobody wants you to nobody wants you to exist. So there's a soul machine chassis, and that should be well on our way, right? So now we need vibrant crystals. One, two, well, what we'll do is we'll just do them down here. Um We're gonna want two of you. We're going to need a, a bit of energetic alloy. 
And what do you need? Pulsating? I should teach you how to make pulsating iron, because we're going to want that eventually too, right? And you can also go in here. Cool. Okay. So now to get our farming station, we're going to want two of you. Definitely need to look into a nice way to get emeralds in this pack. Right? One of you. Turn into this. And then a couple bimetal gears. Turn into these two. And hopefully the farming station will be able to do what I want it to do, which is uh, treetop things. That would be cool. Now, how am I on dark? Good. Give me like 10 more dark steel because I know I need a bit of this stuff, right? Uh, and while you're at it, give me like three blank upgrades. Didn't I teach you how to make these yet? I guess I didn't. I thought you knew how to make those. Blank dark steel upgrades. Yeah, you should you should have a pattern for that. Why don't you yet? Why don't you yet know how that works? I guess I need that recipe too. Automate all the things, guys. It's the way to go, because we will probably need more of these in the future. Yeah, it can be like four of those bad boys. Sweet. And while you're at it, I guess some capacitors. Uh, so I want one of you, one of you, and one of you. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, that should be cool. And the tier one empowered is which one? It's the vibrant crystal, right? So I think we've got extra of these. That was weird, wasn't it? Why are you pulling out seven? Well, there's your farming station. I might need an extra one of these. What's this stuff? Vibranium ore. Oh, cool. Neat. There you are. Okay. So I'm going to need another one of these. Cool. So now what we want is one of these guys, right? So get some more of these nuggets. And you're done. So we want this guy. This dude. We probably want a new tree tap. Well, we probably need some more wood. I really need to get a tree farm going again. And I really want to do it with rats. So like, the plan is, is to get this working and then look at rats pretty soon. And that would be fun, right? Okay. Now for Ender.io, what we want to do is combine you with one of these. You with a basic capacitor. A double layer capacitor and the octadec capacitor. And I feel like that would be cool. Good times? Okay. Now let's get out our Tome of Knowledge so we can get these guys cooked up. So I think it's four and then what, six? Four, eight, 12, 16. Cool. Four, eight, 12, 16. Okay. And then you can go into the tree tap down here. One, two, three, four. Boom. Empowered four. Good enough for me. That should get charged, by the way, which it is. Beautiful. Whoop. Filled up. Nice. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So with that taken care of, let's set up this tree tap outside to, to do the things that you're supposed to do. Um, now, now, I want to be a little bit careful with this because we have like a nice little farm here. I want to make sure that you're not like full of RF or something. No capacitor. Okay, good. I'm thinking a double layer might be enough, but let's just do an octodick because why not? I don't think it'll hurt to have a bigger capacitor. So we kind of want this to be somewhat centered. So like here-ish. Uh, and I want the tree tap in there so he knows that's what he's doing. Well, look at that. He needs water? Does he need water now? That's a new thing. I don't recognize that. Hey, look, it's one of these dudes. What's up, buddy? No, I veto your existence. Shh, nobody tell Soren about this. Dude, somebody told Soren about this, and I was like, what are you guys doing? Don't you know? Somebody did. Somebody told Soren about it. I was very upset. 
I saw it on Twitter. I was like, what are you doing? All right, so no capacitor at the moment. So now we want our octadic capacitor installed. This should bump the range up to a significant degree. And remember, it's only gonna harvest, in theory, I really hope this is true. It's only gonna harvest uh, the stuffs, right? So let's see what happens when we give it some power, courtesy of Flux Networks. Now we might not have any Flux Networks on us, so we're going to need removing energy from the, from the Flux Network, right? Really hope this works. Please work. And do the thing. This is the part where you do the thing. Come on, farming station. I made a dark tree tap for you. No seeds, no axe? I don't want an axe. I don't want you cutting things down. You hear me? I don't want you cutting things down. So, I mean, it does have a water reservoir spot, right? So where's my water? Where is my water reservoir? I had a feeling it might have snuck its way into there. So you've got water now, so... Tree tap! Go! Do the thing. No axe. I don't want you to have an axe, though. Like, that's the point. I don't want I don't want an axe. I'm afraid if I give him an axe, he's going to start cutting down the trees, which we absolutely don't want. Yeah, I don't know, y'alls. I mean, I could put, like, the normal tree tap in here and see if that does anything. But, I mean, it doesn't seem to be doing much. What if we put in these tree taps in here? Would that do anything? I'm, I'm making sure to put it in this slot because that's where it's rendering a tree tap, but I don't see it actually doing much. And I'm afraid, like I said, to put an axe in there. Like, I might put one in just to see what happens, but I'm pretty sure if I do that, it's going to cut down all my trees. That said, if that's what happens, then what we can do is put rubber tree saplings in here and hopefully they'll replant. That would be cool. Let's see what happens. You ready? Yeah, it's totally cutting down rubber wood trees. And... I'm not getting any resin, am I? So like, that's a worst case scenario. Not only is it cutting down the rubber wood, it's not giving me resin out of the tree slots. That's super not cool. Super not cool. Worst case scenario. Very not, not good. Uh, so let's try a different machine then, shall we? What's, uh, what's, what's Industrial 4 going got for me? So guys, I am trying all kinds of shenanigans <laughs> to make this thing automated, and I am not having a good time. Like, not even a little bit. I am just not making it work. Hey, where'd my tree tap go? Am I crazy, or did I not just put a tree tap in there? Yeah, I feel like that tree tap just got voided. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't have any idea how that happened, uh, but it, it seems like it did, right? Isn't that true? Yeah, no, you're definitely not. Generic break. Actually, you got reset, didn't you? I think I just crashed something. Activate block with item, because that's what it was on, right? I totally broke something. All right, I'm waiting for you to cycle back down to that thing. There you go. Yeah, no, that's that's not working either. Wah wah wah. I I I am I am I am out of ideas on how to automate this. I just don't know. So the other thing I noticed though is we do have rubber seeds. I'm just saying. Should we look at that? Should we look at should we look at rubber seeds as an option and mystical agriculture and getting into into said process? Because that would be a nice way to get emeralds and a few other. I mean, I've I've been wanting to get into mystical agriculture, right? So that's a thing. Um, I totally want to play with rats too, though. Oh, there's so much I want to play with. There's so much I want to do. Um, but yeah, getting rubber is 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 seeming to be harder than I thought, right? I totally played with a lot of options here. I spent like an hour off camera. I'm not even kidding. It's been an hour since my last recording segment, and I was just trying all kinds of things to make those get automated, and I just can't figure it out. I can't find anything that'll do it, that interacts with those things correctly. 
So I feel like rubber seeds is my recourse here. So let's look at that real quick. What if we were to do, uh, like I want you to know how to make this thing, right? Um, and we have some Inferium, right? We have some, wouldn't call it a great amount, but we should probably look at making Inferium crops while we're at it. Like, you know, a good a good Inferium crop, like a tier four-ish, tier three, tier two. Uh, maybe I need the seeds actually, not the crop. Tier five is pretty expensive. Um, Mystical Agriculture. We should have a few of these Supremium Essences, courtesy of killing the uh, Wither a little bit ago. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure that out. Uh, Inferium. But maybe playing with Mystical Agriculture would be fun. Uh, so that's Tier 5. Yeah, we should look at some of these, right? Like, they get really good as you ramp them up. But we'll, we'll figure it out. So first off, Infusion Crystals, right? What's involved in making that? I could totally make one of those. And I want this to be cool, right? Um... But let's make rubber seeds a thing, right? So I need you to know how to make this. I need you to know how to make that. And I need you to know how to make that. And that should be pretty close to what we need, right? But we're gonna need two rubber seeds. Actually, I think we'll only need one. Let's see what, how this works out, right? Let's see how this works out. So I'm gonna want four of you missing the three infusion crystals, right? We'll have a few infusion crystals because you know we're going to need any. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and then a tier two crafting seed. You're missing four of those again. That's not going to work too well, is it? Uh, let's change this recipe. And see if we tell it to allow or dictionary thingies. Or dictionary substitutions might be cool. Allow substitutions, yes. So that's good, but can I ask for like 10 of you? Oh good, I can. And it only uses one? I'll take it then. And then we'll eventually use up, you know, our infusion crystals. And that's cool. Good, good, good. So or dictionary that uh, infusion dude worked out perfectly, perfectly, and that's cool. All right, so with that taken care of, I can now make at least one rubber seeds. Cool. Now what we want is uh, crop sticks, and I'd love to see if we can automate this process a little bit, right? So you guys have been doing great, but I'm gonna like clear out a little bit of a, of a gap here. So you guys can keep running. I'm gonna turn you off for a minute. Active on redstone signal, perfect. I'm gonna put this away, I'm gonna put you away, and I need a piece of dirt. And a hoe, so I can retill that. That's right, my hoe is currently in a farming station that I'm not using. And let's see if we can get these guys to grow. Now, do I analyze these? I can, good. So these seeds, like, Nice. Other seeds have the attributes, right? And then we can watering can you. And then I can crops you. And I forget if you're, no, that's not what I want. There you go. Cool. Perfect. Good. And now we want to start breeding these two things like so. Um, not like that. What I want is this, this, this. Now you should already be analyzed, right? Perfect. So I do this, we get him fully grown, and then we breed them together. Cool. Uh-oh, bad guy time. And those are weeds, so that's bad. Cool, 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 let's go. Now, is it integrated dynamics time for this? It might be fun to do. I bet we could pull off integrated dynamics for this. That would be fun. That would be fun, wouldn't it? Let's look at that. And by the way, we got some gain in strength, so that's cool. So let's look at integrated stuffs, shall we? Um, can I get a sapling out of somewhere? I'm sure I can 
find a mineral sapling around. Uh, but what we're going to want is some kind of reader, probably a block reader. Does that give me all the information I need? Uh, let's let's play with integrator for this, right? Entity, extra dimensional fluid, inventory, machine, network, redstone, world reader, audio writer. We're probably going to want some kind of, and this stuff is in here too, right? And a lot of this needs chorus, but we can get that. All right. Yeah, let's play with this. So we're going to want you, which means we're going to want to know how to make one of, oh, you need, uh, okay, just regular dirt. Okay, cool. So I need you to know how to make be a thing. I need you to know how to be a thing. I need probably you to know how to be a thing. Uh, maybe you need to know how to make that. Uh, that should be cool. We should know how to make this. We should know how to make a variable store. We should know how to make a logic program. Or we'll probably just make one of these. We don't need to have to auto craft those. I don't know if the battery stuff is enabled in the pack, like it needing power, but if it does, we'll, we'll make it happen. Uh, and that should all be cool. So let's do that. Let's get all this stuff cooking. What else will I need? Uh, we're definitely gonna need a drying basin and a squeezer, but like the mechanical version of those, mechanical squeezer, mechanical drying basin. Hopefully not too expensive. Nah, easy peasy. Uh, that looks good. So let's get mineral trees going first, right? So here's my plan. What I would like to do, uh, follow follow my logic on this, right? Here's my plan. Here's my plan, folks, for fun times. I would like to automate, if possible, and this might be harder than it sounds, but I'd like to automate, if possible, the increasing stats for integrated dynamic, using integrated dynamics to increase the stats of agriculture crops, right? So we saw with pumpkins how quickly we can make things grow and how extra resources can be generated, right? So if we get like 10, 10, 10 Inferium 5 seeds, that would be pretty awesome, right? That would be pretty cool. Hello, dragon. I don't want you to exist in my world right now. I'm running away. Run away from the dragon. But what we need is an integrated dynamics tree. Um, that's a Thomcrafty tree down there. Man, look at this place. Coarse, sandy dirt, huh? Uh, I need, there's a mineral tree. Nobody panic, but I just found one. Yay. Didn't I have some kind of good tree cutter downer dude, or am I just completely out of my mind? One of those two things is true. And I think it's the latter. Yay, at least a sapling. I'm gonna see if I can find one more tree so I can get just an extra sapling, because you know how. You know how Minecraft RNG and me are not friends, right? That giant worm thingy. No thank you. That that looks like a dragon's lair if I ain't ever seen one. I don't know where the dragon is, but it looks like a dragon's lair nonetheless. There's another mineral sapling. Tree doohickey. Whee! <laughs> Yeah, I feel like I had, like, some kind of axe for this, but maybe I'm just crazy and I didn't. So this will be a good starting point. Yes. Good, good, good. All right, to home we go. Hey, seven saplings. Even better. Sweet. Now that we're home, we want a mechanical squeezer, please. Uh, so we want a squeezer and a drying basin followed by mechanical versions of those. Um, so to make the mechanical versions of those, we need two energy batteries each. So that means four energy batteries, which means a bunch of blocks of crystallized mineral, which means manually making things uh, for a minute. So that would be you and you manual time. So you're gonna be the squeezer, you're going to be the drying basin, you're gonna be the reset button, and then we uh, pop a piece of wood in there, right? And then we jump on it which is fun times. And he's squeezed, reset, click. Jump while he cools. And then we get that out, reset. And we're gonna need, I'm gonna say like roughly, if we need four of these, that's gonna be eight blocks. So let's get like 10 blocks. So I'll be back in a minute when this is done. Cause it's fun. 
All right, guys, so I think the plan for today is let's play around a little bit with block readers uh, and integrated dynamics, right? Uh, so let's get a few things that we're still gonna need, like variable cards. I'm definitely gonna need a handful of them. Uh, and I also want the portable doohickey. I forgot to make that before we started recording here, but that shouldn't be the end of the world. Do I have a crafting table? I can. Do, 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 do. And there you go, sweet. So let's uh, get this guy set up. So what I'm gonna do is try and read information about the agrocraft crop that's in this block space. That was creepy. And everything in this pack is always like creepy noises. Display it on the screen, right? So read information here, display on screen. And we're gonna boil down and figure out what things we can analyze. And then we're gonna see about interacting with those block spaces. That may require the next episode, but I think we can do things. And my goal is such, right? We're not gonna really analyze this one. Um, in fact, let's move this, right? What I'm gonna do is put this dude here and we're gonna analyze this one, right? And you, and then we're gonna need a variable store. And again, I don't know if this thing needs needs energy, but we're going to find out because we're going to keep an eye on the uh, battery here and see what happens. That's only kind of a plan. Hopefully I'm right about that. Um, so you should be cool to do stuff now. Let's go ahead and read the tiles NBT data, which is a huge long string that will be easier digested by putting it on a screen. Right? So we can kind of look in here. So forge data, agrocraft, cross crop, um, and that's it because it doesn't quite have anything in it yet. Now what I'm gonna do is watering can, and we're gonna talk about what our plan is for today, and then next episode we'll implement more of it, right? But now look, we can see the strength gain and meta attributes, whether or not it's been analyzed, uh, and the other information in here is what kind of seed it is. So let's pretend, and growth, right? The growth attribute there. So let's pretend that we can interact with this, right? Which we're gonna try and do next episode. We can do something like if agri-seed equals weed plant, then that's bad, break crop and replant, okay? And now we can water again. Do, 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 do. Let's go. You need like extra lighting here? Let's go, spread. There you go. Hey, look at that. We got uh, tile crop mystical agriculture rubber plant. Ha ha! So when we see weeds, we want to destroy it and replant the double crops, right? Now, whether or not we'll be able to easily replant the double crops remains to be seen. Uh, I have to test. Last time I tried doing something like this, I had trouble getting uh, um, the, the integrated dynamics stuff, the world placer and interactor stuff. World block exporters, I had trouble getting them to place the crops correctly for me. So I wound up using uh, users from uh, extra utilities. So we might have to wind up doing that, right? But like this is interesting because we can monitor the strength and we can monitor uh, the gain and we can monitor the growth, right? So we know it's strength to gain one, growth one, even though it hasn't been analyzed yet, right? So it's a little bit cheaty, but this is what Dyer does, and we know this, right? Dyer, Dyer does the cheats, right? So there you go, growth, gain, strength. Sweet, that is cool beans, right? Um, so the other thing we'll probably wanna do um, is, is make two more of these display panels, right? Uh, and two more of these block readers, okay? And what we're gonna do is kind of monitor all three to make life a little bit easier on poor Dyer. And this is initially for when we're going to be manually doing it, but also we're gonna, we're gonna keep this up when we're automating as well, right? And I'll talk to you about that. So what does that mean? Um, I'm going to ideally try to do something such that, uh, let me get the tile MBT in here. Bum, bum. And that's gonna go in this dude. And you're gonna give me tile NBT, bum bum. And that's gonna go in this dude, right? So ideally we can do something like comparing the strength, gain, and growth, right? And maybe, I don't know what the best way to do this, but maybe add them up, 
would be smart and just say like, hey, if you, add, if you add up all the strength, gain, and growth, you can determine whether the new seed is better than one of these two seeds. And if it is, replace it, right? That would be kind of cool. Um, that would definitely be cool, right? Uh, now, I'm pretty sure you need, and we tested this a little bit, right? But if we have a 1-1-1 one, one, one here, that's what we have, right? So I'm going to remove you for a sec. And what I'm going to do is this, right? So you're a 1-1-2, one, one, you're a 1-2-2, two, two, right? And that means you are a 1-1-1, one, 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 right? So I just want to validate, because there is a config option that means, like, this guy can spread to this crop, right? So that's weeds, we know that. So that's probably one, 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 right. So it didn't improve because it wasn't a cross product, which is a bummer, right? It would be way easier if crops could improve because then what I could do is just have a chain of double crop sticks and let them grow across the line. And that would be cool, right? But we'll see if we can automate this. This might be a really challenging automation process for us, right? I'm not gonna say this is gonna be easy. Um, it's probably actually not gonna be easy even a little bit, but uh you know it's it's a nice fun automation challenge right and i think it could be cool so ultimately what we want now uh is we want to remove this guy uh we want to put our one 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 seed that's here away and then we're going to want to do hey why are you already why are you already doing that boom boom watering can do 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 and then this will tell us you know, and we can we we basically want to do this and automate this, right? Like I said, getting the uh, the the interactions where it breaks the um, weeds and gets us a new crop would be cool. I just have to figure out how well I can do that. We'll figure it out, right? But there, that is a strength two, gain one, growth two. So yeah, like the the attribute increasing seems a little bit slow. But, I mean, maybe that would be nice. So what we want is, how can I make it so that it shows me just those? Let's see if I can do that with my guy, right? Um, so what we're going to want is we're going to want NBT tag information, right? And what we're actually going to say is I want agri underscore strength, right? Let's get that information out first. So NBT tag. Well, first I want strength, right? So I need string. Agri underscore strength. So that's going to be the string of what we're looking for. And then we can do NBT this with this and that will be you. And then we put these two in the variable store. Did I do this wrong? It might not be dot tag. It might be, because that was, uh, agri strength is 2b. So does that mean bytes? It's not Boolean. I'll try integer, because it might be integer, but let's find out. So that's the tile entity NBT. Put those in the variable store now. Two, ha ha, sweet, there it is. So there, now to be fair, I don't think the crop was there a minute ago, so that makes sense, but yes. No, it was there before, yeah. So no, we're cool. So there you go, there's your two, right? So that is strength two. That's cool. So now we have a nice, easy way to get just the strength, right? Okay. Okay. I'd like to see both, uh, all three things on there, right? That would be nice to see on the display screen. Uh, I don't know how easy that is, but let's find out. Um, how can I concatenate data like that in here? So what we're going to want, so that was strength, right? We need gain and growth. So let's get our strings for those two. Agri underscore gain. Uh, 
and agri underscore growth. Right? So these are the three pieces of information we want. Um, now what I could probably do, concatenate strings, type one string, type two string, or a list, huh? Let's see if I can like make a list. I think I can do this. Let's see, I'm gonna make a new list variable. Thought that's what that did. Oh, that's what that, oh, okay. Um, integer list. Okay, so that's a new list variable, right? And then we're going to append to the list variable the this guy, right? Just for giggles, real quick. So hold on, this is your NBT value one. Let me just kind of arrange this a little bit. Oh, wrong click, right? So now we want to take NBT integer, right? And we're gonna say read, we already had what, gain? Strength, strength is what we were already reading, right? So NBT integer, gain and growth is what we need to do. So you, we want gain, and we want growth. Hope I'm doing this right. So that is zero, 03, zero, 05, and zero, 06. That makes sense. Yes, they're all different, so that's cool. Right? So that should give us, so these three attributes should be strength, gain, and growth, right? And then what we're gonna do is do a list append. Okay, so that's going to be this guy. And we're gonna say, take this list, which is currently empty, and append this attribute. And he's cool with that. And that's a list that contains that guy, right? Uh, then take this list, and append this guy. And then take this list and append this guy. Okay, and that in theory, this should tell me all the information I need. If I understand how lists work in this mod. 212, nice. That is cool. That is cool. Zero, zero, zero. Ha! Ha ha! Dire Victor! Oh, that is cool. Victory for Dire Wolf. It worked. That's 212, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. That is cool beans. So that's 211. This is 211. Why are you both 21? No, this is 221. And this is 211. So this guy should go away. Right, and we should put the one that's 212 and that's 112, so that goes there. And we're going to try and automate this. Like I said, we're going to see if we can pull that off. It's probably challenging, but I think we can do it. Cool? All right, so that is well past the wrapping up point for us, right? But we'll come back next time. That is not at all what I wanted to do. Neither of those things. But we'll come back next time, and Dyer's going to figure out where his dirt is. Bada bing. And I probably picked my hoe back up because I dropped it on the ground a minute ago. And you. And yes, next episode, right, we'll come back. And what we'll find is hopefully we can automate this. And if we can, great. And if we can't, well, you know. And if it's 111, we know it's probably, uh, it's probably, hey, look at that, 312. It's working, guys. It's 100% working. It's 100% working. All right, so we just have a little bit of work to do to try and automate this, right? Auto break it if it's uh, if it's weeds. Uh, replant the double crop sticks, right? Try to move the, the better, right? Because basically what we would say is, all right, this is 312. That adds up to six. This is 212. That adds up to five. This is 221. That also adds up to five. So we'll pick whichever one and break it, all right? For now, though, 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, you know the rules. Take it easy.